In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best defense that I have seen to be able to stop the spread offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become better Madden players. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date on the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel now like i said in this video we're talking about how do you stop the spread or the spread wise slot in madden 21 how do you stop spread style of offenses what are some tips and strategies that you can use to actually put into practice that is going to help you with what i believe to be one of the better um, styles of offense to run this year we're going to dive into that in this video but before we do i do want to let you know that if you have not already gotten my nickel 335 wide defensive guide it is the best defense in the entire game and we walk you through in the defensive guide how to implement a intentional system to your defensive strategy how to actually get consistent stops how to get turnovers how to force your opponent to take field goals instead of scoring touchdowns and so if you want to learn everything that i know about defense i put into this guide you can get that in the description of this video it's very easy to pick up and use you're going to have a lot of success with it i pretty much guarantee it now in this video like i said we're talking about one specific defense for the spread y slot or the three by or the the two by two spread formations and how we can deal with that and what we want to do is we want to make sure that in our audibles we have the cover four show two. As you can see right here, we've got the cover four show two right down in the audibles. And then we're going to first and foremost here quickly check our zone drops. And what I like to do is I like to put my flats on 30 yards. My curl flats are going to be on 10 and my hooks are going to be on five. That's going to be my favorite way to do zone drops. Ball in our defense, I normally go play receiver or play ball um, depending on your preference. And then, but this is really the core right here, 30, 10, and 5. I think this is a very underrated zone drop uh, cocktail. And so here's how we're going to do this. We're going to audible from 335 normal into 335 wide. As you can see right here, we audible right into it. Now, the next step that we're going to take when we talk about defending the spread offense is we're going to shift our defensive line to the running back side. Every single time we do this, it's very simple, but it's very, very powerful because it's going to help us to stop the run consistently. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to basically run a cover two style of defense to the short side of the field. So I'm going to go ahead and put the soft squat and the deep half out there just like so. As you can see, we've created a cover two style defense to that side of the field. Now on this right side of the field, we actually can do a lot of different things. First thing we're going to do is we're going to bluff blitz the defensive end. And then the next thing that we want to do is, and we, again, we have so many options of things we can do. But the next thing that we want to do is we have to ask the question, what do we do with this blitzing linebacker, right? He's kind of the problem child. He's the guy that, you know, you have to kind of decide what are we going to do with him, okay? And why are we going to do that? So what I would recommend to most people is simply to take this guy and I would either go ahead and man him up on the slot receiver on the short side of the field because it's very likely that if they're going to run a crossing route, it's going to come from him. If not, if you don't think that's a good idea i understand then i would go ahead and put him on a vertical hook so either man him up on somebody one of the two slots right personally i like to man him up on triangle if you don't like to do that then just put him on a vertical hook but i think you're going to have a lot of success if you man if you run this kind of defense right here against this and we're going to show you why um so what i'm going to share with you real quick is we're just going to go to um a play like smash i think smash is super underrated but we're just going to go to kind of a play like smash. So you can see here, you know, we're just running a smash concept. And at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is that the X receiver right here is actually going to get stopped. And the reason why is because we ran an outside quarter to the uh, wide side of the field. Whenever you run outside quarters to the wide side of the field, they tend to do a really decent job against different types of corner routes. As you'll see right here, he breaks down on the ball and ends up swatting it. Um, this also does a really good job against a lot of different things that your opponent can do. Now, if you don't want to do that, there's another way that we can basically do take care of this. And I'll show it to you right here. So if you don't want to do those adjustments, I understand that. Then what I would do is when you come over here, um, you simply want to take 
take your defensive end and put him in a seam flat, and then you're going to take your linebacker, and you're actually going to put him in a hard flat, just like so. So we've created a Mabel coverage, and then we're going with our cover two. And then last thing is we're still dropping the three red hook. It's just happening to come from the short side of the field, as you can see right here. So now we have a little bit more disciplined coverage, a little bit better um, specifically for things like a corner route, flood type concept. You're going to have a lot of success, but you're going to see right here. I mean, the outside quarter is still the, the primary zone that is going to make that play. Now, the next setup that I want to share with you, um, or I apologize, the next the next concept that I want to show you this defense against and how it works is I want to share with you something like a uh, little deep attack or like PA post or something like that. So we're going to go to the play deep attack right here. And I just want you to kind of watch how this is going to work. But really, our primary responsibility is going to be right in here. We're going to kind of sit right in here, take away post routes. But as you can see, everything on that side is now taken away. Now, the next play that I want to share with you is I want to share with you a PA comeback type of play. So as you can see here, we're going to try to really get vertical on that left. And then on the right, we're going to try to get over the top of the cover four. And so I just want to show you kind of how this works. Again, this is all predicated on the concept that we are running cover two to the short side and cover four to the wide side. But because we've got the man coverage here on the triangle guy, you're going to see that there's really nowhere for him to go. We have safety help over the top and stuff like that that would kill cover three in the pass or would kill cover two in the pass is no longer killing it. This defense right here is absolutely absolutely incredibly locked down against the spread offense. It's very difficult to move consistently against this. And there's obviously little things that they can do. They can hit little curl flat, little quick flat routes. But the beauty is these little 10 yard um, zones, you see how they kind of collapse down onto the curl routes. And that's what I really like about this defense is that whenever you need to shift, and maybe have a little tighter coverage, you certainly can. It's going to look exactly like this. But the beauty of this specific style of defense is it's going to help you in terms of holding your opponent to field goals as opposed to giving them free touchdowns. That's really all we're trying to do on defense. We're trying to hold our opponent to field goals as opposed to giving them consistent touchdowns. We're trying to basically force them to have to play left-handed, drive up the field, and as they do so, we our really ideal goal is that we would have play good enough defense to be able to hold them to a field goal. This defense really puts you in a good position to do that. And if you want to learn my complete defensive system and my complete 3-3-5, wide defensive guide which is the defense that i would use if i was ever playing in a tournament or if i was ever playing for money on the line you can get that entire defensive guide and exactly and learn exactly the way that i would recommend people running it you can learn that in the description of this video you can get that defensive guide for just 15 dollars. and so if you want to head down to the description you can get that defense and start locking people up today. It's very easy to implement this defense and you'll be locking people up in no time. Thanks for watching the video. And again, if you want to get the defensive guide, it is available in the description for just $15.